only at the Living Spaces Black Friday event. Living Spaces. A must in your medicine cabinet. Less sick days. Cold coming on? Zycam is the number one cold shortening brand. Highly recommended. Zycam's love Zycam's unique zinc formula. It shortens colds. Zycam zinc that cold. What makes the train so magical? It's not just the enchanting call of the whistle or the adventurous spirit in every bend of the track. It's about where it goes. To places and faces and the warmest of memories. The magic of the train is more than how it takes us away. It's how it brings us together. Kelly has two choices, a honey-baked ham that's been slow-smoked, hand-glazed, and spiral-sliced, or a Kelly-baked ham. Nobody wants a Kelly-baked meal, not even Kelly. Make your holidays golden, only from the Honey Baked Ham Company. Get out of my autopsy. Praying over bodies, talking to a survivor? You're a coroner, not a social worker. Coroner. New episode tonight at 9 on KTLA 5. Right now at 9, horror for hundreds at a crowded street carnival when a driver plows into pedestrians and takes off. This morning, we are live with the hunt for that hit-and-run driver. Plus, a fiery fiasco in Beverly Hills as flames tear through several carports, igniting cars along the way. What sparked the blaze? And coming up in entertainment, comedy gives back. There's a big classic going on right here in Southern California tomorrow. And we have a comedian who's been behind the scenes for decades right here live on the KTLA Weekend Show. Stick with us. How's the weather? Oh, it is cool, <laughs> Megan, but sunny. We'll see sunny skies all week long, but the Santa Ana's making a return. We'll talk about all that coming up. Hey, good morning and welcome to the KTLA Weekend Morning News at 9 a.m. I'm Lauren Lister. And I'm Doug Kolk. We now turn to our top stories this morning, including six people recovering in the hospital after a driver plows through a street in Los uh, Angeles and Carnival. Yeah, this happened as hundreds of people were enjoying their night out with family and friends. KTLA's Aaron Myers is live near the scene in South LA with the latest on the investigation. Aaron, what are we learning? Good morning, Lauren. Well, as you said, six people have been hospitalized because of this incident, and now they are trying to determine if somebody has been taken into custody. We have been reaching out to police. We are hearing someone may have been detained, but we are trying to get that confirmed still. You can see here where that SUV may have gone through this barricade. There are debris on the ground where that concrete barricade is, and then you can also see just how close that SUV would have been to these rides. Now, video captured the chaotic scene as people went running after the suspect drove through the crowd. Hundreds of people, maybe more, were in attendance at the carnival when the felony hit and run happened near Trinity Street and Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard around 820 last night. People there were waiting to get on rides and just enjoying the night when they heard a loud boom that sounded like gunshots. Uh, I was right there on the left side. I was waiting in line and then my friends told me let's go to a different ride and then I was going to a different ride and then I just looked back and I see people running and I hear a gunshot and the car passed right by me. The suspect drove through the crowds, hitting six people in total. All the victims are between the ages of 30 and 50 years old, according to officials. All six were transported to the hospital. Their specific conditions not known, but the Los Angeles City Fire Department says the victim's injuries, fortunately, were not life-threatening. As for the suspect, police say they were driving a newer model white Porsche Cayenne SUV that had major front end damage because of the incident. The driver did flee the scene, but according to the LA Times, the suspect vehicle was located. Now back here live, once again, we are hearing some Someone may have been detained. We have been reaching out to the LAPD this morning to try and get that confirmed with investigators. Reporting live here in Historic South Central, I'm Aaron Myers. I'll send it back to you in the studio. Aaron, we thank you for that report. Now to the Inland Empire, where one person is dead and several others seriously hurt after a head-on crash in Palmdale. Debris, as you see on your screen, was left strewn across the roadway near the intersection of 40th Street and E Avenue. Police say two cars collided just before 7 o'clock last night. One victim was killed in the impact. Three others rushed to the hospital. It's still unclear exactly what led up to the collision or if drugs or alcohol was a factor. 
Homicide investigators are on the scene of what's believed to have been a violent confrontation that left a 74 year old man dead. This happened around 630 last night in Whittier. It was outside a home along Marlington Drive near Groveland Avenue. Deputies got a call about someone with a weapon and discovered the victim laying on his porch with a head wound. The, they attempted life saving measures, but the man was pronounced dead. Early reports indicate a neighbor may have gotten into an argument with the victim and struck him with a baseball bat before running back to his home. The suspect only described at this point as a man in his 20s is now in police custody. No word yet on what triggered that argument. Five people are now recovering in the hospital this morning after an overdosing in Granada Hills. L.A. fire officials responded to West Blackhawk Street just after 8 a.m. yesterday and determined the individuals were having a medical emergency. The five people, both men and women, the ages between 20 and 40, are all now in stable condition. But we